uh, before I start this video, uh, there's going to be a link under this video. Um, there's kind of a bad tragedy happened to a fellow YouTuber. Uh, it's not someone I really know too well, but a lot of people know them. Uh, Eric Ebaum, he's very close with them, and they're part of our gun community, so I'm going to put the link underneath. Uh, I really don't feel I have the right to tell you or describe what the matter is or what happened. But if you go to Eric, Eric's more of a friend of the guy, so if you go to his channel, he'll explain it more. And also, uh, I'll put the link under there, and then uh, you can see what that's all about. Okay? And uh, thanks for all your help, guys. And we got to stick together. That's what this uh, gun community, especially the gun community, more than any kind, of, more than any community, you know. So. Uh, I just got this in the mail from the post office. My dog's not going to start barking. She ain't going to stop barking because it's cold out. And I got two pit bulls. I got one Lucy, Gia. Gia's a big pussy. Lucy, you can beat her over the head with a sledgehammer, and she won't. She won't make a peep. Gia, if I try to cut her nails, she screams like a bitch. So what she's telling me now is, is Daddy, it's freezing out here. I have no hair on my pussy, and I can't sit down. So hold on, let me let her in. Jesus Christ. Come on, get in here. Jesus God. It's, 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 oh my God, it's, it's 40 degrees. If it's under the 50 degrees, they won't stay outside. <clears throat> hold on, guys. This is the Unpredictable Hectic Armory Channel. It's very... Very chaotic all the time. Uh, I just picked up an Xbox yesterday. Pretty cool. I was going to get a PS3, but I got an Xbox. All right, let's open this up. Okay. Hey, uh, I know, I know, I know. A lot of you guys are gamers. <clears throat> I love the Call of Duty. I think that's awesome. And that's. <clears throat> I want to get the Call of Duty, but they got the new one now called Black Ops. Do any of you guys know is if in the, the new Black Ops, can you play, can you play that one-on-one, -on -one, you know, Call of Duty 2 and, uh, you know, uh, Modern Warfare, you can play each other, like it's just you and one other person, and you got to find each other and shoot each other, it's fun. Do you know if the Black Ops has that game, has that feature on it? If you do, let me know, will you? Because uh, I want to buy the, the latest one, but if it doesn't have that, I don't want it. Because that's, that's fun. I don't like actually playing the game. It's too hard. I can't, I can't beat it. I can't even get on the friggin' third friggin' screen. So, <clears throat> okay. All right, we got a box that's really, really locked up here. Uh, I found a new, uh, another website that's a little website and that has real good customer service. And anytime I find that, good prices, good customer service, fast shipping. Those are the three things I like. And a phone number. Thank you. And it's called Fuddlebucks. And I'm looking on I'm looking online for an Aimpoint Pro. I'm like, man, nobody's everyone's got them, but everyone's sold out of them. So Mr. 45 Bullet said, did you check Fuddlebucks? I said, no, I never heard of Fuddlebucks. What is that? He said, it's a website. They sell, you know, gear and optics and for guns and all. I said, wow, do they? So I went over there and checked it out. And um, there was an Aimpoint Pro for 430 some bucks. And it said in stock. And I just, uh, I'll put their link under the channel too. And man, they got it here quick. They got it here quick. They shipped a priority, and it came from, uh, where are they from? They're pretty close by me, that's why I got here so quick too. I think they're from Maryland, pretty sure. But I will put their link under the video, and you guys can, here's another website you can shop at that you can trust, is what I'm saying. Oh man, look at that. Aimpoint Pro, oops, got a little dent in it. Well, in the beginning with these, these uh, optics. Um, it was specially designed electronic red dot site for law enforcement use.
for sale by authorized Aimpoint dealers only. In other words, at one time, only military and uh, police departments and law enforcement can get these. They weren't available to civilians. Now they are available to civilians. So that's pretty cool. Makes people want it more. You know what I mean? Made me want it more. Okay, so this is the Aim, the Aimpoint Pro, the Patrol Rifle Optic. That's what Pro stands for. Okay, let's see what you get with it. Now the reason why I picked this one, I know it doesn't come in a fancy case like the EOTech, but uh, you know for 400 and some dollars you're getting an aim point here, okay? So everyone knows they're super, super durable, super heavy duty, and the professionals use aim points and uh, they've proven themselves in battle and everything. So I told you I wasn't going to cheap out on the optic. Uh, I didn't even want to spend $400. To me, that's a lot of money for an optic. For me. I mean, because that, that hurt, man. My stomach still hurts. I'm like, I'm sick over it. You know what I mean? Because I got, you know, I got the 1911s. I sold them. And now I'm getting parts for the AR. And I was hoping there's going to be a, enough money left over for, to buy a gun. I don't know now. And I, I went and got an Xbox because that's another story. You know, it's just something to do with my son. And I like playing it. So, let me see, you got directions here, and they are laminated, too, with clear coat. That's nice. Now, with the Aimpoint Pro, you don't, I don't think you get the rubber jacket for it, but I don't, you, know, you don't need that on there. Um, I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Wow, I, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Whew. I thought it was going to be a tiny little thing. Wow, look at the size of that thing. That is friggin' beautiful. Look at this. This is going to go on the new AR-15 Bushmaster that I got. It's going to look great with the dark flat earth, ain't it? And the thing with the Aimpoint Pro is, um, from what I get gather, it's one of the only Aimpoints, one of the only Aimpoints that actually comes with a mount and a spacer bar. So what you could do is, uh, like in my situation, I have that big A-frame sight post on the front, and uh, I'm going to need as much elevation as possible to co-witness, right? So I'm going to leave that spacer in there. But if you have a flat top AR and you have the fold down sights and you want to get lower, you, know, you can take that spacer out and it'll be low profile. Very, 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 very nice. I like that. And you see this thing here? It looks like a thong, which is very good. Uh, this makes sure you don't lose any of the caps on here. Okay. Oh, this is where your battery goes. I guess I would think this would be your elevation, and I guess this would be your windage. Uh, most of the time, your elevation's up here, and your windage is on the side. I didn't uh, unscrew the caps, but when you do, uh, they won't, you won't lose the caps because the little thong's holding it on. And uh, that's very, very cool. Everything has O-rings. The thing is waterproof to, like, I don't know, crazy depths of the ocean. Who knows? It's an aim point. Uh, it's got the flip-up caps. Okay, uh, I, I ordered a kill flash. Why'd you order a kill flash? Because I just, I like the way they look, and it, it'll protect the front, and they look cool. That's why I ordered it, okay? Now, a couple things you need to know about these that I found out, because I've been researching, as I know this, is, this has been on its way for a little bit. Wow, look at that mounting knob on there. That's neat. I'm going to show you how that works, too. Um, the rear cover has a clear lens through it, which is nice, but when you flip it up, if I can, don't let it fly, because what happens is, if, it, if you let it fly, it'll hit this and ding up your lens. So what you want to do is, you could twist this a little, I think, yep, and you want it about right there. So now, when I flip it, it's not hitting anything and won't ding up that lens. Because chances are, if that's nice and clear, and I don't get fingerprints on the inside of it, I'm just going to leave that closed. And uh, just, just, you know, why open that if you don't have to? Uh, another thing is the battery life with the AIM. Say, I, I have an EOTech too. This is what's great. Now I can compare and tell you what I like better. I already know what I'm going to like better because I'm not a fan of a, of, of, the big of, of the reticle and then the dot in the middle of the reticle that outside reticle kind of 
messes with my eyeballs a little bit. I'm more of a single crisp dot guy because I've shot with aim points from Jason from AB Arms and I was putting bullet on top of bullet with that thing. I mean it was awesome and that's what gave me the aim point bug when Jason from AB Arms let me shoot his Rock River Arms AR with his aim point. That was awesome and he had the kill flash on his too. So I'm like a little kid, I want mine just like his. <laughs> But uh, the EOTech's awesome too. I mean, if we were shooting 100 yards, putting groups like that, and, you know, they're really not even meant for that. So, uh, but I think I'm going to be an aim point fan uh, between the two. That's just what, I, what I'm feeling. Um, let, me, let me get some stats together for you and give you a little bit more information. For what it is, hold on a minute. I think it's pretty lightweight. The, uh, the mount's probably adding, the mount, this big handle, I'm sure, is adding a lot of weight to it. But uh, who cares? This thing, for what it is, it's very, very light. Uh, it's a pre-mounted package. Like I said, it came, comes with the mount, which is great. You don't have to buy the aim point. Oh, now i got to look on the internet and find the right mount. Which one do I use? How high do I go? What style do, you know, is the one I'm supposed to use? Just a big ordeal just to get a friggin' mount for it, right? So this comes with a mount. It has a 2 MOA dot which is good, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's perfect, okay? Um, and also, it has 10 settings, and when you set the reticle, it has this real nice and easy switch here, it's right here. I like that, and it's uh, pretty easy to turn, and each click is very positive, it locks in really good. And I'll show you the reticle in, in a minute, okay? Uh, another thing is, oh, well, oh, you guys missed it, it's the first time I fought it. On video what do we have 800 and what videos if I have another one and I think it's loud I'll shut up and let you hear it all right it has a 30,000 hour battery here's where the aim point really uh, you know kills the other optics you know you what you do is you could turn this on leave it on for three years what yup you can turn it on leave it on 30,000 hours, you can leave it on for three years on the number seven setting. So you just click to, I guess you click to seven, leave it on, and just leave it on. Now the only thing I would like to know is, here's the battery it comes with, look how fat it is. It's like a watch battery, look how thick it is. Can I stock up on these batteries? Will they stay fresh? If I buy another one of these batteries, in three years when I replace it, will it be a strong as this new battery I'm about to put in. Can anyone answer that? Because I can't. No one ever really covered that. Because it's not like a real common battery. I don't know if I can go to, I can't get this at 7-Eleven. Uh, I, I don't think I can get it at Home Depot. I'll probably have to go to Radio Shack. I don't know. That's, that's just another thing. I gotta find out. Uh, great warning, usually with aim point, anything happens to it within reason, they'll fix it for free and send it back to you, you won't have any problems, okay? This also has a, uh, this mounting handle has like, a, it's, it's like a ratchet. It'll click, click, click like it. It torques it down at the correct torquage, so you will not over tighten it. So you'll tighten it and tighten it, and when you hear a click, 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 that's it. You can't over tighten it. Ain't that nice? Very, very sweet. Okay, I got the sight on here. Uh, I just want to make sure it's up far enough so let me see where this lands. Oh yeah, we're good. Uh, I have the Magpul flip up sight as far as back as I can on the last notch. But we're going to be changing that. We're putting a black one on. It's going to look awesome. So for now, that's the one that came with it. And uh, Now when you tighten this on, it has like a torque ratchet system. And when it clicks, it's tight enough. Watch. Now watch. See that? Once it clicks once, that's it. It's, don't tighten it anymore. It won't tighten it anymore. It keeps you from over tightening. Uh, I got the battery in it. Someone said the battery was tricky to put in. Uh, not at all. Very, very, very simple. Okay? Now what I'm going to hope is when I flip these covers up, uh, I, should, I shouldn't have to flip that one up. It's, hopefully it co-witnesses my front post. Let's see how it does. 
tomorrow my CTR stock's coming, and then, then the next day a lot of the other stuff uh, from Jabtac's coming. Wow, well, looks good. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's right above the post. Looks good. Okay. Um, now when I move the camera, that dot's going to move around, so it might look like it's to the left or to the right. Um, but it, 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 when I hold the gun naturally, point of aim, the uh, the dot's right on top of the post. Okay, it might have to be, uh, you know, of course we're going to have to uh, tweak it in. So, but right now that's that's right out of the factory, and that dot you're seeing right there is on level seven. That's number seven. Now we can leave it on that dot. The battery will last for thirty thousand hours. That's three years. That's really amazing, which the EOTech, you know, sorry to say, you know, mine anyway, it's double A batteries. I mean, you know, how many hours, when you get a few hundred hours out of it, it's about it. But that's one of the advantages of these aim points, and that's only in level, level 7. I mean, it really, really gets bright. I mean, the camera, it don't look like that through the camera. See how it's getting all glare back and uh, mirroring and... It's really, it's a real nice dot. So I've got 10, 9, 8. Sorry, that's 7. I had it on, I had it on 8. Sorry about that. On that setting right there, uh, the battery will last 3 years. And I know it don't look bright because of the camera. But uh, it is it is bright enough that you could see it. That, definitely. You could shoot with it on level 7, no problem. Okay, so I'm just trying to give you fucking neighbors are arguing again. Liz, can you hear them assholes? I'm ready to go over there. <sighs> you know what, guys? I am the perfect candidate for a cabin in the woods. I, I do not like being around humans. I really don't. Anyway, just wanted to show you that and show you the different brightnesses. And uh, there it is. And look at the rifle, how nice it looks. Got the new uh, Badger charging handle on there. Got the uh, Aim Point Pro on there. Looks great with that colored on it. The rifle's looking awesome. Hope this video kind of helped you, gave you a little information. I don't know a lot about Aim Points. That's about as much as I found out about them. But I do know this I've shot with one. And I was blown away. And ever since that, I wanted one. I always wanted one. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget about Eric's video. Very important. And uh, Funnelbuck's website. I will have their link right under this video. Thanks guys.